Police have released the name of the officer who shot and killed an unarmed teen in Ferguson, Missouri over the weekend. They've also released surveillance video that they say is the teenager, Michael Brown, stealing from a convenience store shortly before he was confronted by that police officer. The release of the video has angered many in the community, including Brown's parents. New details have raised new questions in the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. The officer that was involved in the shooting of uh, Michael Brown was Darren Wilson. He's been a police officer for six years, has had no, uh, no disciplinary action taken against him. He was treated for injuries which occurred on Saturday. While we know the officer's name who killed the teen, police also revealed what may have happened before the shooting. The Ferguson Police Department released this surveillance video that indicates Michael Brown fit the description of a suspect in a strong arm robbery at a convenience store. According to that police report, Brown is seen grabbing a pack of cigars and heading to the exit where he's confronted by a clerk. Justice, no peace. Releasing the name of the officer has done little to ease tensions. And the release of the surveillance video has raised more questions and angered the community. Michael Brown's family and attorney released a statement saying they are outraged. There is nothing based on the facts that have been placed before us that can justify the execution-style murder of their child by this police officer. Rallies continued in the wake of a calmer Thursday night. The man now in charge of keeping the peace, Highway Patrol Captain Ronald Johnson, is from Ferguson. In our anger, we have to make sure that we don't burn down our own house, that we don't go down there and vandalize our own building. The governor is promising answers. Nothing should deter figuring out how and why Michael Brown's killed. Captain Johnson told the crowd this is not a, quote, black and white issue. This is our opportunity to show you that you can trust us. While the struggle for peace continues in the community. So much more to come out in this story. It's unclear how the robbery led to the shooting death of Brown. The police chief says the officer who shot the teen did not know he was a robbery suspect at that time. Look for much more tonight on NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams following Wavy News 10 at 6.